Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, it's an honor to be uh, able to recognize our distinguished guests today. Uh, Director General Elliot Wong from the Taiwei, Taiwan, Taipei Economic and Cultural Office here in Atlanta, and uh, Representative Anulowitz and I co-chair our Taiwan Caucus, which I know many of you are familiar with, and I'm going to let her share a few remarks about the resolution that we've done for them today. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, colleagues. It is an honor to be here this morning to introduce our very good friends from the Taipei Economic and Cultural Development Office in Atlanta, particularly Director General Elliot Wong. The Taiwan Economic and Cultural Office, they sponsor consular services, commercial services, informational services, cultural services, exactly as an embassy would here in the United States Southeast. They service all of these things in Georgia and Alabama, Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and they also offer a few of the services in the state of Florida. Since 1979, the United States friendship with the nation of Taiwan has been very clear. They are a key partner economically. They are a relentless friend and supporter as they were with COVID, during the COVID-19 pandemic with the donations of personal protective equipment that was used throughout the United States of America and throughout the world. I am proud to be a co-chair of the Georgia-Taiwan Caucus along with Chairman Gamble. We at the Capitol here, I think and many of you have taken advantage of the educational opportunities that we have here at the Capitol to hear from the Director General and to learn more about what the caucus is doing, to learn more about what the, what the priorities are for Taiwan in Georgia. I hope you have been able to participate in cultural events like the Lunar New Year celebration that the office hosts in Gwinnett County. It is fantastic. And then I hope you've been able to take part in celebrations like Taiwan National Day, which was most recently celebrated at the Georgia Aquarium. That was important because the whale sharks that we have all enjoyed seeing at the Georgia Aquarium came to the United States from Taiwan. Director General Wang has been in Atlanta since 2020. He has been in the Foreign Service since 1998. He is a seasoned diplomat and has served in Washington, D.C. and Brussels. He has attended a range of universities, including programs at, the, at Harvard Kennedy School of Government and Oxford University. He has a degree in international relations, to which I can think is a wonderful thing to get a degree in. And it is my honor to welcome him to the Capitol here today. Thank you so much. Good morning. Wow, what, what a uh, privilege for me. I thought that I'm only allowed to uh, speak uh, over there, but now I'm standing here. So good, mo good morning, uh, Mr. Speaker, esteemed my House members, ladies and gentlemen. I know today is a big day because uh, this is a super Tuesday for your uh, presidential election this year. Well, the United States, a beacon of hope and freedom has long inspired people across the world, myself included. Today, I stand before you representing the people of Taiwan with a profound sense of a privilege as we work hand in hand to advance. Georgia House Chamber has passed resolutions supporting Taiwan for 19 consecutive years since 2006. I think we, we do a, owe you a round of applause. <laughs> and together with commitment to fostering Georgia-Taiwan relations by Taiwan caucus, spanning party lines and both chambers, I wish to express my deepest appreciation. Taiwan has been uh, dedicating to uh, democracy, manifested in our successful presidential and legislative election on January. This success is more than a local triumph. It is a testament to the standing resilience against authoritarian influences that threaten global stability. In light of a continued provocative actions by China, both before and after our election, from the frequent military intimidation, economic coercion, diplomatic battles, to the recent 
unilateral change of international flight routes and a forced inspection on Taiwan's domestic waters. But our domestic processes still prevailed. And this year marks the 45th anniversary of the Taiwan Relations Act. This act was passed by U.S. Congress back in 1979 strengthening close U.S.-Taiwan ties in security, business, education, and culture. As we celebrate that what we have achieved together, this milestone also calls us to explore untapped possibility for future collaboration. Nowadays, the artificial intelligence is leading the fourth wave of industry revolution and the most influential leaders are from Taiwan, including the founder of TSMC, those CEOs from NVIDIA, Supermicrocomputer, and AMD, you name it. So I strongly propose a Georgia trade office in Taiwan, following your neighbors like South and North Carolinas and others. And I really admire that Georgia has been the top state for business for 10 years in a row. Yes, go dogs. <laughs> so to maintain your leading position, Taiwan stands out as an ideal collaborator, engaging with our electric vehicle and high-tech industry open stores to Taiwanese market and resources for Georgia, as the ongoing shifts of Taiwanese business from China to the US, accelerates realignment of global supply chain. Therefore, I want to recognize some Taiwanese entrepreneurs with us today in the gallery, whose contributions to Georgia are truly commendable in sectors such as IT, auto and the airline industry, shipping and the logistics, chain restaurants like a flying biscuit, and more. So please uh, stand up to uh, receive our recognized. Please. <laughs> Furthermore, I advocate an education cooperation with Taiwan, as other southeastern states like Kentucky, Alabama, and South Carolina have done, focusing on the promotion of Mandarin English teachers and student exchanges. This will better educate our next generation to be global citizens. I also like to recognize those leaders of Chinese language schools operated by Taiwanese community in Georgia. Please stand up, please. <laughs> so once again, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for the enduring relationship between Taiwan and the Peach State because all of you. I look forward to a continual cooperation ensuring that Taiwan people always keep Georgia on their minds. Thank you.